many of us are looking into the current crisis and stepping back, thinking, is what's going on around us a result of something we've done to the planet unintentionally? And if so, what can we do differently to protect the planet and in turn ourselves? I'll give you just one example of what I mean. We often think of vehicle emissions as being the most destructive to the ozone layer because of their burning fuel factor. But forget about other things derived from petroleum that are equally as harmful to the ozone layer. These are fumes we use every day. And today I'm talking about a specific type of fume, fragrance. Many ingredients in perfume or cologne are derived from petroleum, about 80 to 95% of them. The Grandview research reported that by 2025, the fragrance market will have reached 91.17 billion USD. Additionally, Statistic Brain reported that four out of every five women in the United States uses a fragrance product. So what does that mean essentially? Well, for starters, almost every one of us has picked up some sort of fragrance and spritzed it on without realizing that smelling good has a cost. Most perfume bottles contain chemical vapors known as VOCs, volatile organic compounds, which are gases emitted into the air causing ozone depletion. The direct effect of ozone depletion is an increase in the amount of ultraviolet radiation on the Earth's surface, and an indirect effect of that is increased cases of skin cancer, genetic and immune system damage, and eye cataracts. When we spray ourselves with perfume or cologne or any sort of fragrance, we are putting out synthetic fragrances, which are derived from petrochemicals or petroleum. And in a study reported by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, those fragrances then evaporate into the air and deplete the ozone layer just the way vehicle emissions do. So what can we do? A variation of things. We must get atmospheric scientists, chemical engineers, and public health researchers on board to further look into the study because we need the regulation for it. We can have alternatives to fragrance usage, such as using essential oils instead. All this is necessary because we need to demand that our fragrances be made in more eco-friendly ways, the way we've done in the past for products that are harmful to our planet and consequently our bodies. We can start today by limiting the usage of fragrance altogether, because really, what's the point of smelling good if we don't have a healthy planet to show for it?